will go. I'm going to, I'm going to McDonald's now. Yeah, exactly. It, it will just f push them away first of all. And, and you get an, an opposite reaction. You know, you just get like, you just, you know, it's the opposite of what you want to achieve is what, what happens then. I mean, that's definitely something I have also learned. I was just like from, from what Magali was saying, I was really thinking like, yeah, people being faced with a disease, people being faced with this virus, like so, uh, you know, so deeply and so, you know, in such a crazy way. I mean, it's taken over everyone's lives for the last year and a half. I, I was thinking like, yeah, maybe it will. I mean, I definitely hope that, that it, maybe it is shaking people up a bit, you know, like, oh, I want to be, you know, even if it's not for the animals, I just want to be healthy. You know, I just want right. to. And I, I think, think you know, I think people that um, were affected less, like us, mm -hmm. let's be honest, we were affected minimally. Yeah, um, that would hold true. I think the people that um, went through a lot of trauma, yeah, uh, during this, I don't think they had the bandwidth to even think about stuff like that. No, exactly. So, so, I, so I think way too much know, other stuff going on. Yeah. yeah, so I think that I think the people that had the bandwidth um, are questioning things, and I think that's awesome. Yeah. Um, but the people that didn't, uh, yeah, you know, they're still struggling. Yeah, and this is the thing. Also, like, I even, I mean, we even see it as yoga teachers. You know what I mean? Like, for there's so much that just isn't a priority anymore. You know, it's not a priority to to take a yoga class when exactly what you're saying when you just completely traumatized lost your house lost your job lost whatever you you know you could lose it, and you're still in that midst of all of that yeah it's it's right. it's just crazy so yeah no that's definitely true i just uh, i'm really i'm really curious and, and 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 really hopeful for what the the next few years will bring and and like you i definitely feel like i also getting I'm doing this plant-based course now and the plant-based course is very based on food. So even they, they, like they sometimes bring up like the ethical side, but then they go, but we don't want to go too deep into the ethical side because this course is about the food, you know, but they're really like, we, we don't want to be, you know, um, too obvious or, or, you know, like we don't want to say as, as that it is an, an uh, it's not an ethical course, but it's also you're just, you're just like a baby cow in the back. You're just like, let me hold on. Let me just yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just let me just like, like head Bob here. Just one exactly. second. Okay. Anyway, so come exactly. Back, right. exactly. Let's go back to the food. Let's go back to the food. <laughs> but well, wait, it is and there's another one. There's another puppy. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll just put a we'll just put it back there. We're being we're being too loud for your puppy in the back. <laughs> yeah. He's like, like what? guys, what? come on, guys, please you know calm down um but I, I also i and even this course even though it's just about food even that makes me it makes me a little bit more understanding and compassionate and because i do think that some for some people it is like really hard to adopt a fully plant-based diet and it is like they, they have these prejudices in their head and maybe they have like some medical condition that you know i always was really like very very judgmental about that ah, bullshit and Same. you just, you just Same. don't want to do the work and Kind of thing. so it is definitely something to to be mindful of and i think that this is an, a very important uh, point that you're bringing up and i'm glad to share it because yeah and i think that's with everything you know just um take it easy you know um, yeah and, and live by example like it's um it's a very good point and besides you, you, uh, you know, the animal rights that we're very passionate about, I feel that you also do lots of good things for human rights, like your head stands for hunger. Uh, can we talk, because you, you, you gave me as a present, you gave me that beautiful cap that I wear with pride. It's on my altar. <laughs> so when I'm not wearing it, it's still in a very sacred place. Um, thank you so much for that. But I also really love your, um, your project. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, so I started it, uh, eight years ago now. It's insane. Um, wow. basically, um, you know, yoga exploded here in Monmouth County, New Jersey. And, uh, I was probably, you know, one of the first, um, pervasive, let's say yoga teachers <laughs> in the area. Um, and I saw that people were just getting really competitive and it just wasn't what this practice is supposed to be about. Like everybody mm -hmm. was just my studio, my studio, my studio as, as studios <laughs> popped up all over the place, you know? Yeah. Um, so, uh, I, at that point, you know, circling back to the 20 year old with the practice, like I was, this, this was like eight years ago. 
this seven, eight years ago now, you know? So um, I wasn't really in that, that karma space. I was in the asana space, you know? So it really wasn't, I wasn't thinking like, how can I help people with yoga? I was just like, I need to fucking work. And you know, I need to teach yoga so I can, I can survive. Um, But it was, you know, it it was brought to my attention, you know, and like, let's have an event. I'm like, event, what are you talking about? Never heard of a yoga event, really never went to a yoga <laughs> event, never, I was just like, what do you mean yoga event? Yeah. And I was just like, huh. I was like, oh, that'd be cool. And I'm like, huh, all right, let's do that. You know, so, <laughs> you know, I taught, you know, since I didn't know own a studio, a studio, never wanted to own a studio, I taught for multiple studios. So I went to all the, the owners of the studios and I go, look, let's all, all the owners will come together because they all knew each other. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean it's not like you know we live in a big but small community I'm like let's all get together and play nice and every all the heads of the studios will teach a class together everyone will bring their communities together and we'll donate food mm. to the food bank and to the SPCA how about that like it yeah. just it didn't seem like you know crazy idea you know mm. I, got, I got a school gym and and everybody's just like okay that sounds like a good idea whatever so the our first year was 75 people in a gym yeah wow um and then you know we collected like thousands of pounds of food and i was just like wow this is cool and it was just supposed to be like a one for like i had no intention of like (laughs) you know having to having this be a thing or whatever and then after it was over you know the first event was over people came up to me and they're like all right what are we doing next year and i'm like what do you mean next year what are you talking about i didn't intend on having next year but it was like, it wasn't difficult, you know, it was basically like send out an email, you know, put a post out, everybody show up, bring a bag of food. This is what we're doing. Here's the time. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't really like, it, it wasn't a hard, big, grandiose thing, you know, yeah. it was kind of like very low profile and like low maintenance kind of thing. So I was just like, man, I was like, all right, fine, let's do it next year. So the next year we were in a school cafeteria. You know, so we went to a different school at a different town, you know, yeah. and then um, <clears throat> the third year, you know, I turned to my girlfriend. We happened to be having lunch in Asbury Park and I was just like, wouldn't it be awesome if we could do it at convention hall? And she turned to me and was just like, I know somebody that can do that. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, and I'm like, are you serious? She's like, yeah, totally. And I'm like, shut up. Mm. And that's how it happened. You know, like you just need to open your mouth and talk to people, you know, and we went to convention hall, which is, you know, when you come, I'll clearly get to see it. And it's like this beautiful old building on the boardwalk. It's just like awesome, you know? So then we were there for, for four years and uh, every year it just got bigger and better and more fabulous. And, you know, we Mm -hmm. got more food and, you know, we became, you know, a 401 charity and blah, 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 and it's just like, yeah, the ball kept rolling, you know, and rolling, but it's and rolling. Still, amazing. Yeah. And it's still not like, <clears throat> I try to keep it not so fancy, you know, like over mm-hmm. the years, people have been like, let's do this and let's do that. And let's do this. And I'm just like, Ugh, circling back to the Pooh bear thing, you know, I'm just yeah. like, well, like Bridget, Bridget, well, it is Tigger. You yeah, know, yeah, 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 totally. yeah, 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 totally. So he wants, she wants to have like all the bells and whistles and do all this stuff. And I'm just like, it's just a food drive. Like, like yeah. all it is, a food drive. like just make sure everybody shows up, make sure everybody brings a bag of food, people food over here, pet food over there. Like, yeah, you know, like don't, I don't want anything to be so crazy and complicated yeah. because it makes my head hurt. Yeah. But, um, you know, so we try to keep it simple. And I just want to say, it. because there's also something about keeping it simple. And because you, when you keep it simple, you keep it at the core as well. You keep it at where it's at. Yeah. You know? like I, I don't want yeah. all the bends and whistles. Like I want to have some good music. I want a little bit of good music. I want to have yeah. quality features. You know, I want to have a nice time. We have some like local vendors that come, you know, and they support and we support them. So it's truly like a community event. It's not yeah. this like, forget, it's not a circus. Like I'm mm-hmm. not looking for yeah, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just looking for a place that we can all just like get it together because mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know the more studios that are out out there, the more polarizing it gets. The more like cranky pants everybody gets, mm-hmm. and they're just like, I don't go there because he's a jerk, and I don't do that. And it's like this whole thing. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Which is a pain in the ass. Yeah. So I'm like everybody, 
No, just just less. Everyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I would say that for so uh, you know due to Corona, you of course couldn't do it last year and stuff. But um, is it's is it looking good for this year? Do you usually do it around the same kind of month or time of the year? No, we've, we've always done it in November because year okay. one it was November, so it was around the holidays. Yeah. Um, my my intention, I, when I talked to the food bank people. Um, last year or the, well, the year before it's like last year didn't exist so the year before, yeah. the year before yeah, last yeah. when i had a conversation with the food bank people i was like when do you need the most food like mm -hmm. when when do your you know when do your stocks dwindle like what time of year and they're like summer summer is actually when we need the most support so my full intention was to uh move the date mm -hmm. to the summer um but now it's like, it's kind of too late to kind of jump on. I think yeah. and there's, just, there's just a lot going on. So I'm not really sure if we have a big event this year, I guess it will be back towards November and then maybe the following year we'll bounce it. Once, yes. Yeah. Once things are like normal, normal, we'll, we'll mm -hmm. move it. We'll readdress the date. Um, but I, I honestly, I have no idea what's happening, but this year. So what, what I, what I got going on this year is, um, I teach those classes through headsets. Mm. <laughs> And they're, and they're small groups, so I'm doing one a month during the summer, so June, July, August, um, and they're going to be mini, mini events, basically, mm. to, to collect food. So we'll have three mini events, um, and I also have, we have two events in June. Uh, the second one is yoga with horses on a horse farm that's mm. like five miles away from here. Amazing. Uh, which is going to be beautiful. Yeah. It's on yeah. this huge, huge working horse farm. And, you know, one of my girlfriends, uh, you know, she lives right next door and she's, she's friends with the family and it's just going to be beautiful. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So and all so, the proceeds for all four events are going to the food bank and to Headstand. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because Headstand for, for hunger, is it just the, you, is it, is, is food bank your, is, is that sort of the only cause of it or is there also? So, yes. Yeah. So usually, you know, like since, uh, you know, I'm clearly, as we've been speaking, you know, all about, um, you know, animal, animal causes. Um, I've always donated to fulfill, which is like the feeding America kind of big, uh, centralized food bank in the area. Mm -hmm. Um, and the SPCA because the SPCA yeah. has a pet food pantry. So we yeah. collect pet food for their pantry. So when nice. people come in, you know, there's so many people that surrender their animals because they can't afford to feed them. Mm -hmm. So when they, they go there and if that's their issue, the, the food pantry will give them food so they can yeah. keep their pets at home. So yeah. we donate food to them so they can keep that, that situation going. Yeah. Um, this year, you know, we have like headstands for hunger. Really? We don't need money for anything. Like we really don't need like this big bank account. And we actually do have some money in the bank. So yeah. this year, um, because of Corona, um, we are donating to out of country causes. Yeah. So um, I found two in India. I'm waiting to hear back from one. So, and I'm my, my partner, Charlene, she's looking for two uh, organizations in Colombia because they're going through mm. it as well. You know, and her and I are both Latinas. So we want to, yeah. you know, send back to, you know, give it, give it, give back the love. Give, give yeah. back to the Latina, the Latina community. Yeah. Um, and we're sending them out checks. So we have yeah. uh, Animal Aid India. I don't know if you follow them on Instagram. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, they, they basically get down in the ditches. And yeah, you know, I just want to say they, they um, do really hard work. They yeah. do amazing work. So we're going to send yeah. them a check. We're looking for another grassroots organization in India that feed people. Yeah. Um, I'm, in, I'm waiting to hear back for, from a couple of, of organizations that I've emailed. And she's yeah. looking for organizations in Colombia. So if anybody, you know, that's listening here, if you know of a great organization, Grassrootsy um, yeah. in Colombia that we that either rescue animals or feed people, yeah, please let us know. Um, yeah, good. Definitely. We'll definitely now. yeah, I'll put in the show notes as well and, and where to find you. Yeah. And so this is this is the first year of where Headstands is donating to causes internationally. Super amazing. Super yeah. uh, Look how, you know, even though you keep it simple, how much it's growing and, uh, and you never even thought it was going to be in a, an eight year track. <laughs> no, no. So cool. absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. And so, so for this year, you're, you're, you are aiming for the end of the year then for November again. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, probably. Or maybe some, who knows? Maybe we'll do a new, new Year's Blast thing. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, 